What'll I do when you are far away and I am blue? What'll I do? Smoked salmon? Oh, they ran out of smoked salmon, so I had to get you kippers. <laughs> the long range weather forecast says we might get snow. We could get nine inches on Christmas Eve. It's time to read my letter then. <laughs> Oi! Keep to your side of the room, you. People what? breathe out more respiratory droplets when they're exercising. What? Ow! Stop that! You make it smell like a Parisian pissoir. <laughs> well, you'd know. I refuse to be wrapped in cotton wool. Unless it's by a lusty masseur with a bottle of baby oil tucked into the waistband of his snugly fitting shorts. <laughs> Just get my torch batteries. Why are you so obsessed with torch batteries? You haven't even got a torch. <laughs> oh. This pandemic has robbed me of so much physical contact. Something has to fill the cavernous void. <laughs> Well, it'll take more than a dozen batteries to fill that. <laughs> you are obsessed. I mean, do you actually know anyone in Chigol who caught the dreaded? No, because people round here live in detached houses with lodgers who'd get their errands. Now, you know I don't look upon you as a lodger, Tracy. This will always be your home. <laughs> well, it don't look like my home. Well, you can't blame me for wanting to put my own mark on my house. Well, right now, it looks like the last day of Glastonbury. All that's missing is an abandoned tent and a tipped-up portaloo. <laughs> well, it's not my fault I ran out of money. If God had wanted me to have savings, he would not have invented online shopping. <gasps> Prada wet-look thigh boots. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Why do you always have to have something new? I just want the perfect Instagrammable kitchen, Tracy, with one of those boiling water taps, a three-zone wine fridge, and a state-of-the-art waste disposal system. <laughs> They're all just gimmicks. We didn't need a waste disposal before. Because we had Sharon. <laughs> I really miss her. Poor Sharon. Come on, you lucky people. Santa ain't got all day. And make sure you've all got your masks on. If I'd worn a mask a year ago, I would have been jumped on by six screws. <laughs> all right, Jordan? All right, Trace? Here, I made you something in the workshop. Same as mine. Oh, cheers. Now I can see your happy, smiling face. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm so wound up. Dorian's doing my head in. She's a hyperactive old slapper. <laughs> no, I don't think you can say that, Trace. Why not? Well, it's sexist and ageist and possibly mental healthist. What? Got a grade eight in my sociology GCSE. Oh, that's brilliant. The pro board will be well impressed. I hope so. Be nice to be back at my nan's for Christmas. But you'll keep in touch. Of course I will. Never turn me back on an old cell, mate. You'd always occupy a special place in my affection. Got away with words, haven't you? Yeah, I got a grade eight in English and all. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Muckerjee really rated my essay on Midsummer Night's Dream. <laughs> Sharon's still quarantined off the coast of Costa Rica. Oh, you're kidding. Oh, I bet when she won that cruise, she didn't think she'd be on it a year later. I can't even call her. They've limited her internet access. I have to wait for her to call me. Be a bit weird not having Sharon at home at Christmas. Still, be the first time we've ever had any leftovers. <laughs> oh. Oh. 
Still haven't made your mind up yet? Oh, it's so difficult. I think I need a second opinion. Hmm. Well, I'll give you one. They're all crap. <laughs> I didn't mean you, Tracy. I'm sure Graham has excellent taste. Oh, the bloody hell's Graham? Oh, didn't I mention him? We've been connecting online for a few weeks now. Is that why you need all them batteries? <laughs> I'm sure you'll like him when you meet him. <laughs> well, that's not going to happen, is it? Well, actually, I've been thinking of moving our relationship from the virtual to the physical. <laughs> He's just what I need right now. Handsome-ish, charming-ish, and loaded. With no-ish. <laughs> So what does he do, this Graham, when he's not swiping on your avatar? He's a top Harley Street dentist, which is perfect. Well, he'll have no trouble getting you to lie back and open wide, will he? <laughs> what I mean is he can help by looking at the back tooth that's been bothering me. I hope you're not thinking of sneaking out to meet him. Of course not. I've invited him for dinner. What? <laughs> Just because he's rich doesn't mean he isn't contagious. He's a dentist. He spends most of the day sheathed in protective latex. <laughs> and most of his nights, too, if you get your way. <laughs> oh, I can't live under this constraint. I am a libertarian. I thrive on the company of strangers. Suit yourself. But from now on, you can wipe all your own packages. Good! Because home-cured Iberico ham at ten pounds a slice is not supposed to taste of Harpic. <laughs> but it can't be as bad as that. Why don't you just leave it at the front? This country is going to the dogs. <laughs> Apparently, gourmet a go go is now gourmet a no go. What language are you talking? My private chef has just cried off on the flimsy grounds that he has a new continuous cough and no sense of taste or smell. Selfish pig. Exactly. <laughs> I mean you. I assumed you were going to do the cooking. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. When have you ever known me assemble anything more complicated than a Marmite rice cake? Well, you just have to get a takeaway then. I can't. Deliveroo blacklisted me. <laughs> Because you kept the delivery bloke hostage for five hours. <laughs> Tracy, I don't suppose you'd step into the breach. <laughs> Not a chance. <laughs> Unless you let me put all my Christmas decorations up. Including the inflatable Santa. <laughs> and the reindeers with the light-up noses. <laughs> and the singing Christmas tree. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Party started. <laughs> Dorian. Graham. How lovely to meet you. In the flesh, I mean. Although I feel we're already cellmates. Indeed. Bollinger 2012. Foxy's favourite, yeah. if my memory serves. <laughs> I'm sorry about the state of the place, but Tracy always manages to conjure magic out of the chaos. Tracy, uh, this is Graham. Enchanté, Tracy. Social distance. Oh. <laughs> yes, um, Dorian did tell me you're a stickler for hygiene, so I brought my slippers. <laughs> if my feet went like that, I'd see a chiropodist. <laughs> well, I think they're stunning. I had to haggle for them in a souk in Marrakesh. I adore Marrakesh. I set one of my novels there. I know. Seventy Shades of Saffron. It's my favourite. I love the way Foxy cuts a swathe through the ranks of the Sultan's bodyguard. <laughs> I bet you hated researching that, Adol. I don't... I'd love you to sign them for me. Of course. What a beautiful pen. It was a gift from my American publisher. They're in superb condition. They're my most cherished possessions. They just bought them more like. <laughs> I'm 
must say something smells delicious, Tracy. Oh, I think I might have overdone it with the toilet duck. <laughs> no, I think you're being too modest. That's lamb if my olfactory nerve doesn't mislead me. Shepherd's pie, actually. <laughs> because her choppers are giving her grief. Ignore her. Well, I think you're jolly lucky to have such a caring housekeeper. Do you mind? Olivia! Living staff! <laughs> now I really am jealous. But then I'd expect nothing less from the woman who created Foxy Cohen. <laughs> <laughs> Dante. Good health. <laughs> this is delicious. Hmm. If a trifle on the young side, like you. If you imagined that I am vulnerable to obvious flattery, you'd be correct. <laughs> for your own good. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. She's a wonderful worker, but she does suffer from delusions. For example, she truly believes she used to own this house. Really? Has she seen someone? Oh, yes. An estate agent. <laughs> <laughs> You're just like your novels. Sexy. Witty, with that certain je ne sais quoi. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> to us. Oh. <laughs> Dinner is served. Super spreaders. Under the circumstances, I hope you'll understand if I say, perhaps you better not stay the night tonight. Of course. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'd love us to spend more time together, but somewhere romantic, discreet. I know. What would you say to a luxury weekend break? A romantic weekend with an international jet setter? There's no one I'd rather bubble with. <laughs> You'll have to learn to like Graham because he's not going away. You mean he's staying the night? But what if I want to walk around naked? You? You're the biggest prude I know. You even wear your anorak in the jacuzzi. <laughs> what I mean is, Graham is not about to disappear. But you hardly know him. What if he's not kosher? Well, I know he isn't kosher. We exchanged photographs. <laughs> I'll take it from here. Hello, Shao? Sharon? Look, when you get this message, can you call me back? Dora's got this new bloke and she's... <laughs> I knew he wasn't kosher. <laughs> On. It's her tooth. It's all your fault. Why is it my fault? I'm just getting my equipment. Well, it's a plum pudding. What do you expect? Well, I didn't expect you to leave the stones in. Well, you have to. Otherwise, how do you find out who you're going to marry? <laughs> well, you know, tinker, tailor, soldier, sailor, rich man, poor man, beggar man, dentist. Dorian, could you just come and lie down for me, please? And, Tracy, perhaps you could disinfect the tray. Oh, Thank you. I'd love to. <laughs> All right, open wide. I'm going to turn the light on. Don't be frightened. Ah. Uh, yes, it's definitely broken. Uh, and I can see that it was mostly filling. Pass me the sickle probe, would you, Tracy? Which one's that then? The one that looks like a sickle. <laughs> What's a sickle? Do you remember the flag from the old Soviet Union? <laughs> Never mind. Sickle. <laughs> right. Open again. <clears throat> yes. What's left of that tooth is going to have to come out. Uh, I could do it for you next week. Next week? 
Or I could call in a favour and find an emergency NHS dentist. Oh, don't be ridiculous. I clap for the NHS, I don't use it. <laughs> or I could extract it for you right now. <laughs> That's anaesthetic. Have you never heard of auto-suggestion? Ain't that the car selling website that's always on the telly? <laughs> I'm a licensed dental hypnotist. Now, don't be afraid. Just relax, relax, and close your eyes. I want you to think of a happy place that you love to go to. Arabs. <laughs> I need you to sink deeper into hypnosis as you listen carefully to the sound of my voice because the sound of my voice will take you deeper and deeper into gentle hypnotic rest and <laughs> if by chance you find your mind wandering away to some pleasant place <laughs> As I was saying, just locate your happy place. Your happy place. Santa baby, just look for Santa under the tree for me. Bring an awful good girl, Santa baby. I shot and blame Doreen, I suppose. I mean, it's been nearly a year since she's had a sniff of fresh meat. <laughs> I can smell the sexual tension. <laughs> yeah, it's the same in here. So you reckon you see your boys at Christmas? Well, I'd better. Otherwise, the next time they curry their ironing round, I'll shred it. <laughs> don't suppose you'll have time to come and see me. What are you talking about? You'll be out any day. No, I don't think so, Trace. What you done, Jordan? You ain't been dealing SIM cards again. <laughs> well, I might as well. The welfare officer reckons they won't let me live with my nan in Broccoli. Why not? Because Carlos has just got out of Chelmsford and he's gone to live with his nan in Broccoli. I wouldn't be in here if it weren't for him. Oh, right. Well, so the welfare officer's like, we can't let you out unless you can demonstrate you'll be living at least five miles from Broccoli. And I'm like, I've never been five miles from Broccoli till they put me in here. <laughs> what about a probation hostel? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it might be a bed for me in Skelmers down Newtown. Where? Exactly. <laughs> I'm like... Is that even a real place? And she's like, it's in Lancashire. And I'm like, oh, I won't understand a word they're saying. And she's like, I'm from Lancashire. And I'm like, pardon? <laughs> and what about your parole? No, I don't think I'll bother. At least I've got mates in here. I wish I could help. It's not your problem, Trace. Push yourself, Dorian. Feel the burn. Yes, yes, yes. Feel it. Feel it. Yes. Yes! Dirty cow. <laughs> Dorian, whoever you're doing in there, you better stop because I'm coming in. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Dor? For oh, <goodness laughs> sake. Dor? <laughs> Dorian, what are you doing out there? It's freezing, you'll catch a death. Well, I was inside doing my stretches until you catapulted me out the back door. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, but usually when I hear you going, yes, 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 it means one thing. <laughs> so what's all the lycra in aid of? Graham is about to be the first man since Easter to see my unclothed body. Oh. <laughs> I don't want to know. You can't bear the fact that I'm still an attractive woman, can you? Graham is a handsome, healthy male of independent means. So, basically, you're just gold-digging? <laughs> well, I am always happiest with a wealthy man in my life. <laughs> Look, you may be content to vegetate in front of Brickbox every night with a bag of Cadbury's Heroes, but I want more. Well, we've got after eights and all. <laughs> Look, Dort. I'm sorry, but you don't really know this, Graham. Well, what if, when he hypnotised you, he put you into some sort of love trance? Like Pup put on Titania in Midsummer Night's Dream, so she'd fancy the bloke that looked like a donkey. <laughs> Jordan's got me into Shakespeare. Well, credit where it's due. When I tried to interest you in a live transmission of Titus Andronicus, you said you'd rather watch YouTube highlights of Sharon's Bucket of Chicken Challenge. <laughs> Jordan made quite an impact on you. Yeah. 
I was just wondering, Dor, how would you feel about Jordan coming to stay when she gets out of prison for a little while? <laughs> <laughs> I mean it. Oh. <laughs> then no. Look, she deserves a break. She's turned her life around. She's got GCSEs and everything. It's not my problem, Tracy. Oh, and whose problem was it when you were potless and homeless and me and Sharon took you in? That was different. Why was it different? We were friends. We hadn't seen each other for years. Why don't you just meet Jordan and see what you think? Oh, fine. She can come on Friday morning, but I'm not making any promises. And I'm locking all my valuables in my room. Clear? Crystal. Thanks, Dor. Fine. Now, if it's OK with you, I'd like to get back to my exercise regime. Oh, yes, Dor. You go and work them bingo wings, girl, and fly. <laughs> oh, you've got an absolutely beautiful home, Mrs Green. I can't tell you how lucky I'd feel if well, I lived. First things first, how do you like your coffee? Oh, just a splash of milk, please. Sugar? No, thank you. Oh, I oh, wouldn't want to spoil such a lovely Nicaraguan blend. <laughs> <laughs> you were uh, thinking of redecorating? Mm. Well, because you've got a very bold, hockney esque sensibility, Mrs. Green. Call me Dorian. <laughs> oh, I hope it's not a cheek. Dorian. Oh. Could you sign it? To whom? Well, to me. Yeah, I love it. There's oh. something very Shakespearean about Fox's relationship with Baron Percy. Yeah, reminds me a bit of Romeo and Juliet, but with an happy ending. <laughs> oh, your welfare officer's here, Jordan. Right. I better make a move. Thank you for having me, Dorian. My pleasure, Jordan. Well, what can I say? Perhaps I was wrong. Perhaps a girl like Jordan does deserve a second chance. <laughs> oh, that'll be Graham. You recognise his ring? He has very firm thumbs. <laughs> Don't let him in here till you've fogged him. Hello, Tracy. All right. We're off to the Cotswolds. So for this weekend, at least, the house is yours. It was once. <laughs> Of course. I'll just, um, pop the bags in the car. It's a little minx. What's the matter? That old cellmate of yours has stolen my gold pen. She wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's hard to believe you never married. I always put my work first. Mm. Pioneering new treatments, travelling across the world, servicing my celebrity clientele. But now... Mm. Promise me I'm not just another one of your celebrities. Dorian, how can you say that? They are so two-dimensional, while you're a real, warm-blooded woman with an open and generous nature. When do you expect to hear about the sale of your film rights? is in Costa Rica. Hello? Si. Hello? Hello, si. Is that the Pride of the Pacific? <laughs> the Pride of the Pacific, the cruise ship. Ah, no way! This is La Cochina Sports Bar, Puerto Viejo. Puerto what? Puerto Viejo, Costa Rica. Who you speak? I'm after Shannon, but I've obviously made a mistake. 
No, no, no. Sharon can't come to the phone right now. She's busy serving, huh? I get her to ring you right back. What's your name? Tracy. Her sister. Ah, oh, Tracy! <laughs> we speak at long last, eh? Sharon has told me all about you. <laughs> and who are you when you're at home? Romeo! Sharon's husband, eh? And, and I am at home. Husband? Well, she never even told me she'd met someone. Oh, uh, maybe she don't want to upset you. Oh. Well, that's worked out well, hasn't it? <laughs> so what's your name? Romeo Diego Rodriguez Vargas Espinosa. <laughs> What? Romeo Diego Rodriguez Vargas Espinosa. Like Theodopolopoulos wasn't long enough. <laughs> Costa Blooming Rica. first thing in the morning. I hope you had a comfortable stay. Oh, the suite was superb. And the flowers. Do you do that for everyone? The gentleman called ahead. You shouldn't have. Nothing's too special for a special lady. As I always say, you're never too old to fall in love. Just the bill, thank you. <laughs> It's been a wonderful weekend. Thank you, Dorian. No. Thank you, Graham. <laughs> Do you want to check it? Silly. <laughs> Twenty quid for croquet? Hey, is that my gold pen? Uh, do you know, I do believe I dropped my wallet in the car when I was loading the luggage. Graham? Taken me seven hours to get back from Wooten under Edge. I've been in three buses, two taxis, and a gritting lorry. <laughs> and you were right. Graham is a gold digging con man. It was he who stole my lovely pen, not Jordan. Where is he now? Oh, who knows? He sped off at the speed of light without even picking up the tab. He's disappeared off the internet, dating sites, everything. Even his personalised plates were fake. <laughs> Who paid the bill? Who do you think? <laughs> so, can we talk about Jordan now? Oh, yes, she can stay here. Oh, good, cos I've already told her. <laughs> Only until Sharon gets home. Don't get me started on Sharon. Why not? <laughs> if that's Graham! Did you order those? <sighs> Cheers, mate. <laughs> Does she remind you of anyone? Get us a catch up, will you, Trace? <laughs> oh, my God. 